You make it so easy for you, baby Yo, it's focus. Everybody, focus. All right, so what's up, YouTube? So this. Oh, let's get focused. Oh, let's get focused. Focus. No, focus. Yeah, there we go. So, you guys, as you know me, I'm always creative. I'm always thinking of some amazing things, amazing projects to do. So amazing DIY projects. Oh, hold up. My phone is ringing. Break. Hold up. Hello? Okay. The universe. Botanical garden. Okay, all right, cool. I'll come down in a minute. Yeah. All right, so real fast, y'all. I'm getting creative. I've, you guys know, I've been doing Airbnb for the last few years. And I've been literally wanting to take this thing to the next level and to make the most amazing, unique Airbnb ever. And guess what I'm going to do? I am about to do an Airbnb camp. This is going to be an exciting project. I found one. I literally went and took all the cash that I had, have a couple thousand dollars in my faith pair fanny pack. You guys want to see right here? A couple thousand dollars in here, in cash, ready to cash out because that's how serious, it is. guys. And I'm so excited about this Airbnb project, y'all. I'm gonna basically show y'all step by step. The process of this Airbnb camper is gonna be so exciting. So kind of stay tuned. You guys see firsthand, step by step, of how I transform this camper into one of the most amazing, famous Airbnbs ever in Atlanta. Watch. Is there hoses? Like a little, yeah, right, right. Got a tank up and the water pretty much recycles yeah, itself, it's right? Yeah, got a switch right here okay. on the wall that you turn on, you hear something like a electric pump come on, and it's what. And I think somebody had a wind air condition here because I don't think that come like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of them with the wind air yeah. condition. This right here. They might have come down by a switch in that position. Oh, okay. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Yeah. And what's this that's thing cool. here? Like a vent or something? That's uh, the refrigerator. It runs off of gas or electrical. Okay. On your refrigerator. Oh, that's what I think of. Uh, Does that work? I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we can wait. We can wait. It probably do. All oh, this yeah. come on. It got yeah. to. You go up under there. Yeah. You get, gas, all you gotta do is get an electrician come out of there. Just to hook, hook, hook everything back up. Right. They shouldn't have charged them about $150 yeah. in there. And what's this piece? I think that's part of the furnace. Gotcha, for the uh, heater. I, yeah, because I think this here is a furnace right here, but I don't know. I think it's a wash or something. Yeah, that's part of the furnace right there. Yeah, there was one right there too. So whether they got him working on his fall. But that thing right there goes in front of the window, but I took it off. 
Yeah, I think a uh, air unit would oh, be yeah. better. Okay. And a little heater too. And somebody tell me that I checked that battery and it was showing it was good, but I don't know. It's, and what kind of battery is that? It's a battery for, I don't know what they say. It's, it's got all the papers in there on that thing. Tell you everything okay. about the. How can I get back to uh, We can guide you back there. We can take mine and pull it back there. I'll pull it up. The title, I never signed it. This guy here signed it. Well, he did date it. Oh, he did this sign is fresh. Look, see what they did? Oh, yeah, the autumn. You can buy them things. Oh, nice. Okay. And then what they did right there. But that air conditioner, if you turn that on up, like I say, it come on for just a little bit, then it'll blow them a little break right outside. But they don't probably have to push a button and make it come back. So, so really, really, you could just turn it around the AC because it should have pulled you here when it pulled the power. Yeah, it's on. On AC? Yeah. So really all you need is a generator to put in the back. Yeah. And plug everything up to the... To your left. Turn to the left. Alright, a little bit to the right. Just a little bit to the right. More to the right. Alright, alright. Stop right there, hold on. Ready? Alright, you come on back. All right, so we're about to hook up this hamper. It's gonna be lit. Cool project. That's cool. <laughs> I'm on your vlog. Yep. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Keith and Kelsey. This is Keith Kelsey vlog, right? Yep. Vlog. The official Airbnb, though. Airbnb vintage camper. The mic, the mic wasn't on, we beat. <laughs> so we got the trail on the back right here. Rod right, gonna buy that Dodge truck from him. Yeah, that truck hard, right? Yeah, nice. You'll be a fool, but you don't get that shit. For so $700? That's a big. Oh! Here we go. Yeah, project. See. And it's raining, but we're still gonna get it done. So we got a bunch of stuff for the camper. We're getting ready to paint and do some more stuff. We also get off the side of this road, sweetie. Over here. So back to the schedule program. So I'm about to keep y'all updated on the process of the camper. Things are coming along. Very, very nice. So stay tuned. All right, so we're in the camper, and we're about to paint the ceilings first. What are we using? We're using the simple stuff. Where's the bag? Um, the big bag is over there. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. We're using this paint. Primer. Fox, fox, whatever you call it, like fake. 
Faux. Oh, faux. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not faux. That's Vietnamese noodle soup. No, that's how you say it. Oh, well, folks. Folks. What was? We did the paint. Alright. Get this thing together. Make these balls together. Kelsey made these curtains. She did such a great job. We're gonna change these rods out, so just ignore that. It's ugly rods. Doing the faux reclaimed wood wall. How's it working out, baby? Um, okay. We're gonna put curtains up. I mean, uh, blinds. What you mean, blinds? No. That's enough. Can't you do that? I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so here's an update. The wall. We have to finish these walls around here. The same vintage reclaimed wood. Put the clock up. Coming along. Here we go. Day number five, I think. Doing these walls. Now I'm doing these walls in the chalkboard paint. Alright, so this thing gave me hell for this stupid, stupid sink out. <laughs> Finally got it, go ahead and change this out to a new one. Finally. Shave it in the walls. Now we have running water. I can make it so easy for you, baby.